Hi, I'm James Porter, and this is the video on how to subtract triple-digit numbers with a 100 bead abacus. If you have just watched the video on how to subtract double-digit numbers with a 100 bead abacus, you are in the right place. Let's get started right away. Triple digit gets a little more confusing than double digit, but I think you guys can still handle it. So we're gonna try, first of all, we're gonna try 394 minus 212. So like we've done before, we're gonna start by forming the first number, 394. So 394. After that, we're gonna subtract our second number. We're gonna do two. 12. So you can't see it very well, but that's right there. It's 212 out of the 394. Now, I'm going to write down this the answer to this problem. You don't have to if you can remember it in your head, but this is hard to do now. So I'm going to write 1, and then we're going to go 2, 4, 6, 8 after the 1, and then a 2 in the last place. So, the answer to the equation is 182, and this is what the abacus should look like afterwards. Alright, so that one wasn't too bad. Now we're going to try this one, which is, mm, let's try 656 minus 489. That sounds pretty good. Again, we're going to start by forming the first number, 656. So, 2, 4, 6... Five, six, two. So there we go, 656. Now we're going to subtract 49. So let's start at the bottom with 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm going to write down the number 6 so I can remember it for later. We need to get rid of 110 so we can move these 10 back because remember, one green 10 bead equals 10 one beads. So there we go. Now we need to continue from six and get to nine. Seven, eight, nine. Now we've done our ones place, we need to move on to the tens place and we're gonna subtract eight from there. So we can go one, two, three, four. I'm gonna cross off this six and write down four so I can remember it. Let's move this 100 bead over because we know one bead from the row above equals 10 beads from the row below. So here we have one bead over and this is the same. So before we had, if we ignore the bottom row, we have two, four, 600. If we move this over, we have one, two, 500 and ignoring the ones row again, we have 510 tens. So it's the same thing as 600. Now we're gonna continue. We wrote down four and we have to get to eight. So we're gonna take four more away. So starting from four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go, now we have our tens covered. We just have to do our one hundreds place. So. We need to subtract four from there. One, two, three, four. And this gives us the number one. I'm gonna write it down because it'll be good to remember. One, two, four, six, two, four, six, seven. So the answer we have found is 167 with my notes over here. And the abacus should end up looking like this. All right. Let's try one more that's gonna be even just a little more trickier than that one. I think you guys can handle it though. So we're gonna try 932 minus 584. So we can go two, three, two, four, five, six, seven, nine, 932. Now we gotta subtract 584. So we can go one, two, I'm going to write 2 in the corner so I remember it for later. I can move 1 10 beat over, move the 10 back. Now I can subtract starting from 2, I need to get to 4, so let's go 3, 4. Alright, now our 1's place is done, we've got to do our 10's place. So we can go 1, 2. 
If you need to cross off the two and write it again, you can, but it's the same as the last one, so we don't have to worry about that. So since we've got our number written down, we can take away one one hundred and move our ten tens back because one one hundred equals ten tens. And then continue from two to get to eight, we need to go three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we have four in this place, which is correct for now. And then lastly, we have to take away our five one hundreds from 584. One, two, three, four, five. And this gives us the answer of one, two, three. I'm going to write it down again. It'll be very helpful for later. All right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, so the answer to our problem is 348, which is the same as this on an abacus. These, this here is my notes for the two that we used, and it is very helpful as well. All right, now I'm gonna give you some sample tr problems to try. I'll give you three of them, and I will give you 10 seconds to solve each of them, but I'm sure you will need more time, so pause the video. Don't just go on and watch the answer. It'll be better for you to solve it on your own first. All right, let's begin by subtracting 761 minus 321. The answer to the problem is 440, and your abacus should look like this. Did you get it? Great job. Let's try, next let's try, 335 minus 188. The answer you should get is 147 and your abacus should look like this. Again, I took notes in the corner, which is helpful for me. If it isn't helpful for you, you don't have to do it, but I would strongly suggest doing it. Did you get your answer right? Well done. Lastly, let's try 950 minus 783. The answer you should get is 167. Again, I took my notes in this corner here, and your abacus should look like this after solving the equation. You have done a great job today learning how to subtract triple digit numbers with a 100 bead abacus. If you need more help, you can go back and watch this video again, or if you click on the examples button below, you can see the three examples that were given in this video. I'm James Porter signing off for now, but remember, a broken abacus is no one's best friend because no one can count on it.